Welcome back. Hello and welcome back to the Broken Radar channel. I'm Lucky and well, back at Hearthstone. Uh, last time I played two matches uh, ranked with my mage deck. Uh, I got to rank 24. Uh, I made a little oopsie uh, between the episodes. Uh, I, I did a casual. I wanted to do a casual game with my druid deck to complete a quest, but I accidentally forgot to switch back from ranked, and I won the match. So I am a little bit further on than where I left off last time, but that doesn't matter too much. These are still the early ranks. Pretty easy matches. So let's just uh, start off where I left off from then on. Uh, rank 23. Uh, let's go. So, so far I have played 3 matches. Uh, if you win a few matches in a row, you get uh, bonus stars. So that's also why I'm at 23 now. I believe I got one bonus star for winning three matches in a row. And let's see what we get this time. Jena, against a rogue. Watch your back. You asked for it. Uh, starting with two frostbolts and a sentient shield master. Well, he's too expensive anyway. I think I'm gonna drop one of the frost bolts as well. Because I don't really need two right from the start. I need one at the start and one uh, at the end of the match. That's ideal. So, first turn, I can play an Arcane, Arcane Missiles, but as I explained in a previous match I'm not fond of doing that when there are no creatures on the board. I'd rather use these to uh, ping some damage on creatures. Put this apple on your head. For example on a knife juggler. So I'm going to use Arcane Missile, that might kill off the Knife Juggler, or it might not, but that's not a problem because I can still ping up to death. It would have been worse if uh, the Knife Juggler didn't get any damage, all three missiles went into uh, Valera. So that's three damage for us. Don't mind too much about that. Got a fireball, not gonna play it under on, on him. Gonna play no mission banter, get a card draw, and he can't kill it off with the, the knife anyway, so that's fine. And next turn I can start playing with my Azure Drakes, unless he's gonna play something scary. Well, looks like he is gonna kill off that one. He will get a one. Oh yeah, he will get two damage in the process. That's fine. I already got my card off from him. There's the first Icelands. So my damage potential in hand is getting buffed up now. Assassinate. That's okay. Got more where that came from. So for 6 mana I'm not gonna play the Azure Drake right now. I am going to play the Shield Master and the Geomancer. Job done. He still hasn't played any creatures yet. Oh, he did uh, the knife juggler, which died pretty quickly. To Northrend. Charge divine shields. That's a nasty one. 
He is still gonna get 3 damage from attacking it with his knife. That's all fine. Backstab on the Geomancer. That's fine as well. There's my arcane explosion. Which I can line up with my Dalaran Mage if I want to, or I can Frostbolt it. I think I'm gonna Frostbolt this one. And then I can play the Azure Drake. Rogues do have the tendency to play a handful of small creatures if they can, so I think my Arcane Explosion will see some better use later in the match. This is our town, scrub. Yeah. Right, now for example. Okay, he is gonna kill the Azure Drake again. Should Argus. That is a bit of a bummer, because that puts three of his creatures out of Arcane Explosion range. Uh, I might kill them next turn then. I get if Ice Lands, okay. So my Frostball Double Ice Lands is in hand. Uh, I don't have the damage yet to kill him though. So let's put up this ones and ping one of them. Then next turn I can ping the Defender of Argus. And Arcane Explosion everything. And he will lose everything. Okay, he is gonna give me a big hit of 9 now. It is fine, he will die. And another 3 damage. Damage is ranking up pretty quickly right now. But as said, he will lose pretty much everything right now. And the dollar I made for the extra spell power. Arcane Explosion to kill off 3 out of 4 creatures. And what shall I do with him? I pretty much can't do anything with him. I could frost bolt him, but then I lose my Iceland's power. I hope you like my invention. Job's done. And the snack turn I get more taunts anyway. So my bet is he is gonna run his dwarf into the mage. Kill off the engineer with his knife. No, he's going for me. Yeah, that's a smarter move, but he's all out of cards. He has bo used both his uh, poison thingies, so that's fine. He is trying to rush me down by now. Don't really think that is gonna happen. Not with a Stangian Shield Master at ready. I uh, need to do 2 damage to that guy, that's fine, I can ping him, sacrifice that guy, and get 2 damage, that's fine as well. Do need to start pushing out some damage on the rogue as well now, because my health is getting dangerously low. He has got nothing to play anymore. So my options are 14 damage plus 7 from Fireball and that's gonna be enough. So here we go. Frostbolt, Ice Lance, Ice Lance. Still got mana for a Fireball. And I can even finish it off with Arcade Missiles. GG. <laughs> And another victory and I win streak with a bonus star. On to the Moloch Raider rank, rank 22.
Eight more to reach my previous peak. So let's see how far we get. And on to the next match. Let's see what we get now. I think the most um, the matches that I enjoy the most are the ones against other mages. Jaina oh, <laughs> and we get Jaina. a mage as well. You asked for it. Okay, I always Jaina like seeing how the other hearts. mages are playing their decks. And it gives a bit more satisfaction when it turns out that I end up beating them with my strategy. Um, let's see, do I want to keep my arcane end? Yeah, let's keep it. Let's go like this. I get a coin as well, even though I'm not going to use it on turn 1. Unless he's playing a one health creature. Or I draw a two cast creature. I guess. He's skipping turn, I get a mirror image. That is fine, that gives me two taunt creatures. And next turn I can use the coin to cast Arcanent. And the blood friend raptor I can't do really much against right now. Um I could frost bolt it. That keeps my taunts alive a bit longer. You can't kill off one of my taunts, so I'm just gonna go for the card roll for now. And I get another Harkin and another mirror image. Not really the cards I wanted to see, but I'll just have to make use of them. Thinking hard. Deciding whether he can push through both of my town creatures, maybe. Whatever Crocolus comes out. That's gonna be even a bit. <coughs> a bit harder to get through. Um, what to do, what to do? Okay, an explosion room deals one damage. I wonder. I think I'm gonna ping. Uh, okay, an explosion it is to. What to do? What to do? I just might use my frostbolt next turn then. Job done. This way next turn I can ping the raptor and frostbolt the crocolisk. A better scenario would have been if I had the cobalt geomancer. Then I could have pinged the crocolisk right do? now. And then next turn use the Geomancer plus Arcane Explosion. That would have killed both. And the Raid Leader. Okay, Missiles. That's a very nice card to have as well. Um, but is it gonna be enough? Um, I wonder. 
Actually, I still want to play the Mage Arcane Explosion, but I need that one more mana for it. So I just might take the damage this turn. Hmm. I do need to ping it. And then I am left with two mana, which I can't really use. Don't really like that. Hmm. What to do? What to do? If I'm gonna go for the Arcane Explosion play, I will get seven damage. Well, let's just do that. I'll be fine. Um, yeah. Not gonna use the other two mana for now then. Could have used the Arcane Missiles, but they are all gonna die next turn anyway. They'll never know what hit them. And that one won't. <laughs> It is too bad I already lost 4 tons from my deck to this. Usually I do get a little bit more safety out of them. Um, so... Dalaran Mage. Arcane Explosion for 2. Killed off everything except the Nightblade. And I'm guessing he will kill my mage with it. Unless he's, he's trying to go for a rush down. I do need to be careful because I'm already at 20 HP and if he has Pyroblast in his deck, yeah, I might as go down very quickly. So I think that's um, danger against other mage decks. Uh, my deck is can be a bit slow sometimes. And that gives the other mage the full opportunity to use uh, Pyroblast. Um, at least I can ping now. Or use Arcane Missiles first. Better idea. Kills both those creatures. I can save my ping if I want. Uh, Arcane Int. Shield Master. Arcane Int and Ping, I think. Nope. Novice Engineer. So now I am getting at the point where I don't need to fear his creatures that much anymore. I got two polymorphs. I got a flame strike. I can deal with pretty much anything that he is gonna play, but I have no defense against his spells. And that Pyroblast is getting closer and closer, so I need to be careful. Another Nomish Inventor. That Snapjaw is actually gonna survive the Flame Strike. So I'm not that safe from his creatures yet. I wonder. Um, what can I do? I've got only seven mana, so I'm one mana short again to do something useful. What to do? What to do? I guess I'll play the Nomish Inventor. Get a Sunwalker out of it and ping off his Crocolisk so it will die if he tries to hit the Inventor. And next, if he doesn't, next turn I can trade him for the Crocolisk. Or trade him for the Snapjaw if I get plus one spell damage. Which I can't use on the same turn as the flame strike, so that won't help. What to do? What Just to might do? use polymorph on the snapjaw next turn. Not sure yet. Sunwalker is nice as well. A 
single fireball draw would what to do? solve my what problems, to really. Do. He, does, he decided to sacrifice his own snap, uh, snap jaw. Cockalisk, whatever. More big creatures getting into play. Not really happy with that one. Because I can do the old 4 damage to it. And my taunts will get insurraped. Um, I will at least have to pull him off that one. Uh, that leaves me with a Sanjin Shieldmaster who will survive everything. He can freely run his creatures into it, he will survive with one health. He can ping it to death, of course, then. But at least it would have gotten rid of all his creatures. Ah, except for the snap jaw, of course. They'll never know what hit them. <sighs> More creatures. I guess next turn that flame strike is gonna come out. Pull him off. That is gonna hurt a lot. If this card is a pyroblast, I'm dead. Ice lands. I have no use of that one yet. My flame strike isn't even gonna kill him either. This really isn't working out the way it should be. Problem is, I, I am at 11 health. If he has a pyroblast, I will be dead. Not in this turn, but I will be dead in the next turn. Because then he can pyroblast and ping me to death on the round after. So I'm just hoping he's not packing any pyroblast in his deck. At least he has, he has gotten a lot of creatures out. So he might not be that spell heavy. Oh, there comes something. Fireball 6 damage. Down to 4. No, I'm not gonna survive this match. This will be a loss. No way I'm gonna get back from this one. Uh, what can I do? I can do 11 damage to him. That's pretty much it. No, I could have done a bit more. Double Azure Drake then. Plus two spell power, that puts me on a 12... Uh, 17... 25 damage potential. Come on, survive. Survive. Yes! And that wins me the match. That was... effing lucky. Um, so yeah, well played. well played. This game was really, really close. <laughs> One health. But it's, of course, that last bit of health is all you need. And he is probably raging right now. Me at 1 HP and he is going down from 29 HP to 0 in one turn. But he probably <laughs> felt it coming the way he was uh, going for my health uh, in the end. So, rank 21, so it's the deckhand. Let's play one more. Oh, I even got a new quest. Shaman Wallachor, Shaman of Warlock Dominance. 
Well, we're playing neither of them right now. And let's see what we get for the last match for this movie. Yeah, Rochelle screams, you are here. You asked for it. I see a lot of expensive cards. Let's get rid of all of it. And I get a lot of expensive cards in return. Not really useful. And that second Azure Drake isn't helping either. At least not on the first four turns. Well, we'll get to the point where we can actually use those cards. For now, let's just start pinging away. I believe these are actually the most expensive cards that I have on my deck. Job done. I've got a flame strike which costs seven. But this looks better. What a creature I can use Arcane Explosion and I can even buff it to two with a Cobalt Geomancer. He's still not playing anything. He's probably packing a weapon in his hand, waiting for me to play creatures. So right now he is gonna play a creature. Uh, sorry, a weapon is gonna kill my Geomancer. Come on, I know you do it. I don't think I've ever seen a warrior stack up cards like this. But he's still not playing anything. I don't really know what he's doing, but I've got an Archeon Drake. Which gives me the card draw as well. And bump two damage to him. Pretty much cancels out only the armor he has gotten since last turn. What is he holding in his hands that he's saving cards like that? I mean, he's got ten cards in his hand. He has to play something else. He's gonna lose draws. Leave, that's fine. Kills one of my creatures. And executes. That's fine, that's one execute out of the way. At least he has used it on one of my strongest creatures. But I can't complain too much about that. Um, let's see, I've got 6 mana, so I will go for the... Caldera! Fireball, nice. And... More Caldera. So I'm at 9 cards, I believe. Yep. And that's fine, that means I still get my draw and can keep it. Hey, Bullet Fist Ogre. That's fine, that will die. A single well aimed fireball will take care of that. And since next turn I'm packing 7 mana. Ah, uh, that's okay. So I'm gonna use the Dalaran Mage, plus 1 spell power, fireball and the Ogre. And punch him for 3 more damage. So I also got three taunt creatures in my hands, which can block some attacks as well. Very nice if he is gonna play a weapon, but 
I really don't know what he can be holding in his hands like this. Charge forward! Oh, that's an effective one. Oh, kill this guy. Kill this guy. Not too bad. This one has, has used his purpose anyway. Uh, let's see then. What to do, what to do. Can I stack up three spell power on the field? I don't think so. Actually, it might be a good time to use my taunts. Well, this guy has to die anyway. I don't have my second frostbolt yet, but I might use it. I am packing 8 mana, so that might be an Azure Drake, Arcane Explosion. And be left with 1 mana. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. Azure Drake. Yes. Arcane Explosion. And trade these two. And bring my taunts out. At least now I do have my second Frostbolt. If he's gonna play another low health creature, I can just kill it. What now? Does Dingo? Yes. Handle it. Ah, uh, that's fine. He will die. He will die. Everything will die. Question so far is, what will they die to? A hey, arcane missiles. That's interesting. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna fireball Shieldmaster. Arcane missiles. If he survives, I can ping him. So, yep. Ping. And smash him with that one. Too bad I... I'm not gonna use a spare 2 mana. Would've been nice if I had, like... Uh, another cheap creature to play. But all those cheap creatures are still right here in this deck. I only got one novice engineer so far, I believe. What now? One of Romanians. Probably another execute. Oh, killing my taunt. That's fine, I've got another one, and he's not gonna get rid of the Divine Shield with that whirlwind anymore. Fire he is gonna trade that one. Okay. So, 10 mana, couple of Geomancer. I'd rather play this one. What the fuck can I attack? No, I wasn't gonna attack. The Novian Hunter was gonna come and play. For more cadres. So I've got 10 cards left. That's gonna be one Novice Engineer, one Geomancer, one Iceland. Uh, what else? Uh, the flame strike is still in my what deck. Now? Squire, attend me. Ready, I believe sir. another arcane explosion. That might come in handy now as well. Yeah, arcane explosion would be nice. Kill the geomancer, arcane explosion. Trade. What's he gonna do? I wonder. He 
He's really holding back on his hand and I don't know why. Okay, and uh, can use that one. Okay, an explosion comes out. That's good. So, Cobalt Geomancer. Okay, an explosion. That kills that. Then... Novice Engineer for another Kadra. Another Dalaran Mage. Uh, so this is gonna trade for that, and that one is gonna attack him. He's still at 24 health. Uh, I use both my fireballs, so I am limited to Frostbolt Ice Lancers to... and my creatures to deal damage to him. And right now I can pack 8, 13 damage. Not too much. Uh, let's see, so we can sheep that one. Am I gonna sheep that one as well? I can't frostbolt it, I guess. But then I can't. No, I don't need to ping. Let's first bolt this one and keep my sh uh, sheep if he's got another big creature. Okay, missiles, I can keep that one as well. So he's at 18 health. Next turn, I can deal 11, 16 enough damage. Arcanite Reaper, that's not gonna hurt me at all. So he's up to 20 again. No, you have to kill him first. And that's gonna deal 4 damage to you and no damage to him. I get another taunt creature out, but I win anyway. Well played. So, Frostbolt comes out, Ice Lance comes out, Arcane Missiles. Let's ping him as well. Bring the Shield Master out just to use waste a lot of my mana. And there we go! Sixth victory in a row. Ah, uh, fifth. If I don't count my Druid victory. <laughs> Up to rank 20, we're a shield bearer now. Still 6 ranks to go to uh, where we were. Where I were, was Lex not. Uh, sorry, last time. And my mage level as well. Uh, one more for my golden arcane explosion. And I get some more gold, also nice. So uh, I hope you enjoyed these matches, I I did at least, uh, the mage one was really close, uh, but the other ones, uh, they didn't pose too much of a challenge. I uh, hope you maybe learned something from this as well, that mage attacks can be evil, like 29 damage in one turn and stuff. Hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time, bye bye.